Feet Tyrant Versus presents Billionaire Beatdown! Laura Croft versus Handsome Jack. Let the battle begin! Welcome everyone to another episode of our Geek Tyrant versus Billionaire Beatdown. This episode we're doing Handsome Jack versus Laura Croft. Yay, On Team yes. Laura Croft we have Megan Golden, Ash Sweetry. First time where there's three girls, might I add. <laughs> Girl <laughs> and power. Team Handsome Jack. Russ, Brian, All right. Daily. <laughs> Just, I mean, they said their Just last names. Case. Oh, Meyer, I guess. Yeah. You can, that's All fine. right, rock, paper, scissors. You and you. See who goes first. Pull up my invisible sleeves. Let's get it. <laughs> Ready? Oh, oh, girls yeah. win. Oh, okay. All right, who do you guys want to go first? You guys. All, All right. right. All right. You have 60 okay. seconds. Starting now. I'd like to start by saying this. Laura Croft is an icon. She's awesome. She's badass. She is one of the most unique characters and, in recent polls, one of the most popular female video game characters ever. That being said, she is up against Handsome Jack. As a billionaire, she lacks. As a hero, she's great. But as a billionaire, she is weak. She's not a great billionaire. She doesn't use her millions and billions to hire people and do things. She, she, all she does is she sits around in her big house and she goes spelunking on occasion. She does. She goes, she likes to go adventure chasing, I suppose. But she is a college student going on weekend trips to Europe. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> Absolutely no assets to speak of except for a fancy butler and a big house. Exactly. A butler played by Rimmer from Red Dwarf. Handsome Jack owns a planet, practically. <laughs> Dictator of a planet. Hyperion country. Uh, he, he works for Hyperion, which is a giant business. He hires robots. Killers creates and designs robots. Yeah, Time. Uh, things to send and destroy vault and has a nope, diamond encrusted nope, pony. Nope, nope, that one doesn't count. Hi, <laughs> pony. Stricken from the record. All right. Don't worry, we'll add that. We'll you add. Guys, it. ready? We'll add in the Sixty seconds. <laughs> Go, boo boo. Go. First of all, uh, his butler's name is Winston, also known as Jeeves. If you pay attention to the fan base and the forums, they are very misguided. Um, but his her butler is good for a lot of things. Okay, uh, he builds robots for her to attack because it's kind of always building up her skill. I didn't think about any of this before I actually started. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but she she uses her money for a lot of things. She has yachts, her gear, her weapons, her training. Everything she does, you obviously, obviously has to pay for. She builds obstacle courses. Everything that she has that she makes her money for, or like has money for, she uses to increase her skill set and make herself even more badass than handsome. Jack, who's not that handsome. He's got like a, a different face stapled to his face. I'm Kinda sorry. Ugly. I agree. It's, yeah. it's not a little <laughs> contest. Lara Croft is, no, it's not. It's not it's... <laughs> Lara well, Croft I mean, is awesome. And she is badass. Right. And uh, she wields mythical objects that money can't buy. So. Boom. Man, maybe that time just came. Wow. Yeah, right? That <laughs> wow. was concise. Like, like the, the Mjolnir? Thor's hammer? You know, Excalibur? Otherwise, you know, exclusive to be a character who can possess it. They belong in the museum. <laughs> These items Which belong in the museum. Which she probably <laughs> Round two. No mercy. All right, we're ready for round two, the rebuttal. <laughs> round one was really awesome, you guys. Thank you. All right, so, so most awesome. I can't remember who went first. Uh, they, uh, they did. Uh, over. They did. Okay, handsome okay, Jack, you ready? 60 seconds. That's Go. what we do, we're handsome Jack. Go. Oh, all right. Um, you know, not to disparage your your butler anymore, but I mean, by comparison, we have Butt Stallion, a solid diamond horse. So that is a, something that outweighs your particular butler, not only in weight but in value alone. Anyway, so, so honestly, here's what it comes down to: it's not a beauty contest of who's more attractive. It's not a contest of a lot of things. It's who would win in a fight. Laura Croft is essentially a vault hunter. She would go for whatever sort of vault there is. And Jack would throw armies at her, he'd throw robots at her, and she'd probably take it. Yep, she she's could, she could beat She could be the robot. She'd beat him, and then suddenly, you'd see Handsome Jack pop down, and she'd kill Handsome Jack, and they'd be like, all right, they did it. She'd put down her guard, and suddenly 20 more Handsome Jacks would pop out. Because that wasn't Handsome Jack, that was a doppelganger. She would be fooled. He'd shoot her in the back. She'd be down, she'd be like, crap, what happened? And even if she did survive that... She'd be weakened, and he could throw either any of, either of the warriors from the vaults at her, and not to mention the final striking blow. He runs a space station Time. akin to the dart to the Time. Death Star and would destroy her with the Eye of Helios. Time. Boom. I told trickle, you they trickle, would use trickle, the eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. ladies. That's a nice strategy. 60 seconds. Go. So you compared Lara Croft to a vault hunter. 
<laughs> who ultimately destroyed Handsome Jack in the first place. So and he's you, already and, dead. And you're talking about it like like it's a game, but Lara Croft even said so herself that she only plays for sport and she only shoots to kill. So, and you, you, the thing is, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> so uh, go. And the Isle of Helios, it was already destroyed too, so you guys can't use that as a physical weapon against us anymore. Uh, Lara, she specifically owns powers, as she already states, to control inanimate objects that she does not have. She picks of. up artifacts, and they, she owns that stuff. I so almost... she can just control that eye. She's agile. Oh, she's trained in no armed and unarmed combat. Multitude of weapons. I don't know if that was even the right word to use there. Giant, giant arsenal. And uh, you even said so yourself. She's awesome. That's probably why she would win. She would win. She would win. She's awesome. She's extremely resilient. Okay, she survived being burned. She survived almost drowning. She survived, survived a plane crash, a shipwreck. Time. It's, it's up to contest. if looks could kill. Could. It's up to the viewers. You guys get to vote and tell us who you think was better, Handsome Jack or Lara Croft. I'm gonna vote for the girls because I'm a little biased. It's but... not a beauty contest. It's not, it's not just because they're Don't attractive. Don't forget you Don't... have the chance to win six months of Loot Crate. So, don't forget to vote, let us know what you think, and feel free to share the video with your friends. Thanks. So, you, you, you can use older stuff, though. You, you, it's not but like nothing, you can, Yeah, he's a billionaire with a million. Man. He's got it's an like entire army of robots that he can throw at you. Yeah, yeah he's because like he's animal. willing yeah, to yeah, go that Jack extra distance. Jack dies exactly once in the doing. game. Laura Croft dies like a thousand times when you she play She never dies. Game. You could continuously play her. Yeah, because she dies so at many times. At least she's a playable character.